Inside Science. We're working on various applications of spectroscopy in low resource settings. So what that means is using optical technology to really understand the chemical makeup of different materials. One material Keller looks at is soil. Soil that farmers need to grow crops, to feed families, and sell at markets. Soil composition is important for producing bumper crops year after year. The idea here is when people understand what's in their soil, and so they know, you know, nitrogen, phosphorus, carbon, pH, all of those good things, then they can get dramatic improvements in their, in their crop yields by using the right kind of fertilizer that's matched exactly to their soil. It turns out that fertilizers don't always work the way they should to help improve crops. For example, one of the fertilizers that has been recommended by governments over the years without knowing what the soil is like uh, actually has been making certain soils very acidic to the point where you know, additional fertilizer doesn't help because the soil is too acidic. So the idea here is by bringing the testing to farmers with much lower cost devices, then the, the productivity by small farmers can be boosted and they can improve their incomes and therefore their livelihoods. When farmers in places like sub-Saharan Africa cannot grow enough food, many resort to deforestation or using land not suited for crops. The result has been problems with soil erosion and poor nutrients within soil. Keller wants to help them farm more sustainably and reliably. We can basically input the spectral data, which can tell you, you know, how much of the certain elements or what the other physical properties are of the soil, and then merge that up with information about maybe historical weather patterns, information about what local crops work well in different soil conditions, and then the overall outcome then is, okay, so what is the optimal treatment in terms of fertilizer, what is the best plant to put here? The work Keller does could be instrumental in helping farmers grow better crops, especially in places where most of the population depends on local agriculture to survive. But getting you know, crops to grow to, you know, to feed your family and provide income is extremely important. I mean, it's absolutely critical for their lives. This is Inside Science. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, Follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.